get ready to coach. All right, bring it in, please. Let's go. Okay, let's have a look here. Everybody stand over this side, two yards back. Zach, Eamon. Zach, you go there. Alex, sorry, you go there. Eamon, Shane, go on, Eamon. Cole, Riley out here. Aiden with the ball. We have three players and three players. I emphasize this a lot with my older players, but it's a great habit for you to get into. We've talked about this a little bit. But the ability to hold the ball under pressure, big man. It amazes me how young players like yourself only protect the ball with your feet and not your upper body. These are your iron bars, right? And it can only be iron if you do what? If you make a fist. It's impossible to be strong, have a strong upper body, if your hands are open. Okay, you're just too loose. Instantly, once you make a fist, you become much more rigid and stronger. But it's no, it's no good making a fist, lads, if you fist down here. You've got to create that distance. If I, if I have the ball here, and there's a defender, I've got to create that distance between me and a defender by extending that arm and making a fist and using that like an iron bar to hold him off. And I'm not going to shield the ball with the inside foot. Why, Cole? So he can poke at it. So you're trying to just hold it off. Now he's pushing against me now. I'm just holding the ball. Give me an example when you'd want to do that, Riley. When it's in the corner, it might be 10 seconds on the clock. You're up 1-0. It's called game management. You've got to be able to protect the ball. Okay? Almost around the edge of the box. Play it into your feet. The defender comes tight on you. You've got to hold him off. Maybe you're waiting for some support. Or just getting tight so you can maybe roll from the inside. All right? Watch this drill now. It's important that you don't mess around in this drill, that you don't fool around. The defender makes an honest attempt just to put pressure on him, but I don't want you to laugh. I don't want you to try to uh, carry on with doing this, so watch what happens now. I'm going to be a passive defender to start off with. Play the ball to his feet. Go side on, big fella, and push against me. There you go, and protect the ball. Protect the ball. Protect it. Okay, don't show me the ball. But again, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. And when I blow my whistle, get in that position, guys. Come here. No, just go, give the ball to his feet. You're going to protect the ball for a small period of time, seconds. Give me 10 seconds, give him the ball. All right, just as a defender, you're working with him, get tight. You're working with him. And when I blow my whistle, Eamon, give him the ball, give him the ball. You two, swap over, quickly. No, no, Riley. Yeah, you stay there, you mark him now. Mark him now, give him the ball, quickly. Get the ball, Eamon. Get the ball, Eamon. Yeah, 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 on my whistle, ready? Yeah, protect it. Shh. Quick, swap over, swap over him. Get that ball, yeah, defend him now. Defend him now. You got the idea, guys? Demand the ball, demand the ball quickly. Get it to him quickly. Change again. Yes, hurry. Get on him, get on him, Shane. Get on him, Shane. Well done. Yes. Okay, server, come in the middle. Let's go. Server being defended. Shield it. Shield it. Shield it. Swap over quickly. Demand it. Demand the ball. Well done, well done. Use that arm, use that arm. Well done, Cole. Go, swap again. Let's go. Come on, Shane. -o. Demand it. Hold it. Hold it. I can't emphasize it enough about your upper body. As you get older, you're going to start be doing strength and conditioning. Our guys at the collegiate level, uh, throughout the winter, we're full time. You know, we're three, four days a week, <coughs> strength training every morning. The guys got to get bigger. When I see them as freshmen, some of them are really skinny. By the junior year, they're bulked up and they're big, strong players, athletes, okay? But even at your age, you can use your body wisely. But it still amazes me when I see big guys who are strong play like weak players. And I see little guys who don't have the physique but know how to use their arms. 
when I play against Brazilians or South Americans or, ga or kids who play street soccer just play in the streets all the time when you go to Brazil these kids play in the streets every day they don't need a beautiful grass field they don't need great uniforms they just get together and play ball but they knew, know how to use their bodies they hold people off we had a player who graduated uh, from our team two years ago about six foot four and he was like an octopus you couldn't get near the guy and he, defenders would come to him but his arms around here you yet half the time he got poked in the eye if you were near him but he used his arms so well everybody used to say what a great dribbler he was but he was also great at protecting the ball with his upper body so get into that habit For more great drills, visit SoccerClinics.com, the world's largest coaching website.